Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on once again. This should be a big one. We have a long video planned where we have a ton of things to do, including what you'll see here is a bunch of draws in the legendary stores, over a hundred, and it could be maybe around 150 total draws from latest legends as we go for Magneto. Adam Warlock and Yellow Jacket, plus obviously a ton of great four star characters. And then also in the Good Fortune store, going for Okoye and Deadpool and Onslaught. That's going to be great. I hope you brought the viewer luck. We have a well over um, 80 to 100 or more tokens from the other areas of the game. We have a Crash of the Titans to get through and so much fun. Let's jump into the Crash of the Titans to kick things off. And uh, by the way, we also have Milestones, and uh, we're gonna talk about a cool new fun feature for our fans, kind of a fan community thing. Let's get into it right here against Hulk. And we have to take on the three-star Hulk using Red Hulk. This one is uh, gonna be probably pretty fast and easy, we'll see, unless we make Hulk mad. You know, it's just... Uh, he, we uh, cause anger to him and he call, causes seeing red damage for our side. What do we want to do in this matchup? So obviously the thing is to go for our um, big damaging green ability and uh, Hulk on the other side also has a damaging green ability, but we have a purple and it's very, very helpful. Gamma Siphon steals or actually reduces the enemy green no matter how much they have down to zero and um, gains a seven green ourself actually red hulk's a little bit unique because he has a green team damage ability from hammer and anvil but that costs nine if you wait until you have 18 green instead of just nine it does way more than double that damage of 5,400. It is 14,200 for that damage. It does deplete all the green even if you have way more than that 18. It depletes it all. So what we want to do is pretty much go for purple and then green as well. Watch out what Hulk is getting against us in green, but we don't have to worry about it too much when he gets to his 10 for Thunder's Clap we'll um, hopefully have enough purple to play and reduce that green away from him. But if we make him mad, he's gonna create countdowns on black that uh, add green tiles to the board. And man, sometimes the board can just be completely covered in his uh, anger tiles and then it, therefore in green. So what do we wanna do here? Probably let him take that red match right there He'll go for it. He does have a green, uh, he does have a red ability as well. We'll take this blue. Ah, that's too bad. He would have probably gone for that red. Maybe he will. There we go. Okay. Go for this match four in green. We're only up to seven. He's got eight. Need that purple ready to fire off. It is good to go. If we do it now, no sense in doing it now. more purple we're actually close to being able to play our purple twice in a row that's another good tactic if you get way more purple than green in the match Hulk has no reason to uh, take purple away from us black is his passive ability he does have red he's gonna play it that's fine that's going to do damage but also make red Hulk angry potentially from smash Seeing red, oh, we didn't get the benefit of that countdown. No problem. We have eight green and a ton of purple. You know what? I want to get to those, all the tokens we have to do, plus the legendary draws. Let's do it. Gamma Siphon. Enemy Hulk screen is down to zero. We're up to 15 green. Let's go for another Gamma Siphon just to build up another seven. We're at 22 Green AP for Hammer and Anvil. Big time win, still over 30,000 health, and we get 
full progression in the Deadpool's daily, but more importantly, we get that latest Legends token, and that's actually a cool spot there, because check it out. If we go back to the Recruit page in Legendaries, that is the 150th Legendary token in the total there. So if you take a quick look, we're at about 491 overall total draws worth from tokens and command points if you add them all together for legendary level draws that's huge so that'll afford us to get a few levels on Okoye hopefully and the others there as well but then uh, the main point is getting to a certain stopping point on Magneto I only have him at two covers so far and enough shards to buy a third but I didn't spend the shards because I want to see what colors of covers we get today but we have a lot of other draws to do to get to that point, and then we'll level up our heroes, three stars and four stars, along the way to get as many more draws as we can, and of course the um, rewards in hero points and ISO as we go. Let's check it out. Lost in time, we've got three remaining tokens. Let's get some gold level emblems here. Just a two star. See if we can get a three star from these um, post event tokens. And we beat that completely. Got a four star Carnage. Man, that's great. Carnage rules his green ability. Got it. Really nice hit. Boy, if that is going to be the viewer luck we're bringing into this, that is uh, a great start to the night. Saving those spicy taco tokens for when we have a four star character that I really need to go for. I think I'll wait on those. Meet Rock and Group. We've got a number of draws here. We can go for the legendary token, support tokens, but more importantly, we've got Totally Awesome Hulk in here, Ironheart, and then Throg. Oh, and I didn't even say at the uh, beginning here, we're also going to champion a whole bunch of characters that have been waiting. Three star characters and four stars. Not to mention a very new four star character. See if you can guess who that is going to be. You got a little bit of a clue there. Nice hit on Colossus. Try to get a few more three stars since the rewards are a little bit better in the champion level system. There it is, Deadpool. Got a bunch of heroics and also mighty tokens to draw. Beginner support token, nice hit there. And we'll do the one-time draw from Meat Rocket and Group for the 100 hero points, just in case. Just a two-star. All right, what do we have at the top here? PvP matchmaking. That was from the Deadpool versus event. And I didn't have a, a much of an opportunity to talk about this vault, but it's much better than usual. It's an 80-item vault that we're used to, but there's way more four-stars in here than you normally see. Usually there's three in an 80 item vault, and this one there's six. And um, it's random, I think, on uh, some of them, random who we're going to have in my vault versus yours. But there's also a 10 command points reward that's also not usually part of the store, and a ton of three stars. So we'll do a few draws here. Wish I had a bunch more to do. A bunch more tokens, anyway, in this uh, vault. Trying to get better than a two-star, though. <laughs> and an amazing hit. Gloves off on Rogue. Her green ability, that is a very good ability, steals um, the opportunity for the enemy to make um, AP gains in their strongest color. And then they also don't deal any damage when they make those matches. And then when we match that color, we earn two times the AP instead of normal. Wow, what a hit there. We got Rogue. That was a massive top level reward from that vault. Okay, looking good. How much time's left in that? Look at that store. There's literally less than a minute left in that PvP matchmaking vault, and uh, we hit a four star. That's so great. Okay, so on to the recruit area. We've got a bunch of areas to make draws from. Let's go to this incendiary cyclops store. I've been waiting for this for a long time. We've got 16 draws from this store. 
there's one in 250 odds at hitting the brand new five star character so odds aren't really super good but it almost is like you have um you're, you you want to consider it, it's almost like 16 out of 250 so um you know if you divide that out it's almost like a you know a total of a six percent chance it's not really like that with the odds each draw is independent of the last one so it's not like they really stack up like that but they're still a chance and we've done it before so let's see if we can get anything three star or better there it is starting with a Captain America we could also get a four star and we got a four star let's count this one down in three two one got black cat nice hit there a perfect plan the um, nice passive ability where she puts traps on black tiles Deal damage and steal AP. Electra, doing good on the gold now. There's another gold level reward, three star sentry. And we got another four star. Unbelievable. The Lux running hot. Got a Hulk Buster, his blue ability, Hulk proof. Patch Wolverine. Doing great on the threes. You guys brought the viewer luck today. You must have been as excited as I am to just finally get into some legendary token draws. I've been waiting forever, seems like. We're at the point where about a couple weeks, a little more than a couple weeks away, two and a half or so from Cyclops entering the latest legend store. And that would actually push Magneto into classics and so that's one reason why I'm going to go ahead and draw for um, a few more levels on Magneto and Friends real soon. Okay, did quite well there. We got Heroics coming up, but I like to do Elite Tokens first. So we've got 34 Elites. Let's do the Quick Claim. Should see a handful of 3 stars from this fast run. There we go, Quicksilver. Captain Marvel, or Ms. Marvel, meaning Kamala, twice there. Hit the, Cycl or the Psylocke, Daredevil, Gambit, Beast, and Dokken, Iron Man. Had a slow run in the three stars there for a little bit, but now we caught up quite well. Mighty Tokens, we've got 57 Mighty Tokens and some supports to draw oh yeah that's right so i'm actually going to keep those supports that's the normal routine but if you look down here the other supports were kind of from a special arrangement and we have a few of those to draw so we have two beginner supports and a advanced let's take a quick look this is a normally the supports are in a specific arrangement and so i what i was going to say is Instead of 16, there's 18 in here. And I'm really kind of interested in the Children of Thanos, the, the four different characters there. And then um, a couple of others. And I don't want to really mention what they are. Let's take a quick gamble on the beginners here. All right, just got an element guns. One star. Maybe we can unlock a perk or something today. Just a one star cull. We'll do the advanced support. Chances are better, 1 in 12 of a 4 star or a 4 tier perk support. That would be awesome. I don't have a lot of those at level 4. And we did get a level 3, but it is a duplicate from the Hydra Henchman. That's a pretty good one. I usually put that on one of the Thanos characters. Okay, down to the bottom here with Night Shift. A couple of draws from the Misty Knight event. Got Gold, Sentry. He's also my bonus hero for a little while. And Ares, okay. What else do we have at the bottom? Anything else? Nope, just the latest Legends tokens. We will do a bunch of those draws, but we're going to run through and level up everything we get from our Heroics and um, Mighty Tokens, 3-star and 4-star characters. We'll do all of our shards. We'll do all of our milestones. And then we'll get into our five-star draw. So there's a lot to do today. 
no problem 48 heroic tokens wow let's go so that could mean maybe that could be a couple of four star characters nice hit on star lord there one in 16 odds of a four star nice to get these tokens drawn down it seems like i wait way too long sometimes try to keep them on hand for the video recording i've got my sons my uh, younger son is my lucky sidekick he likes to draw tokens once in a while and man he runs well super lucky save this viewer luck for you guys tonight with the legendary draws can't wait to get to that coming up a little bit later gold with more sentry wow i put him on as my bonus hero and now we keep drawing him from natural covers kind of looking forward to get magneto the five star built up and uh, yellow jacket there's a nice hit on beast And of course, oh man, and of course Adam Warlock. I'm actually more excited on Warlock, I think, than the other two, but we'll see. Got the four-star hit. Go. Oh man, that's going to be a nice upper level on Drax. Slice and dice. That ability does a ton of damage if the enemy has nearly full health, over 90%. Not as much damage if they've taken more than 10% damage. Gray suit, Black Widow. Looking for another four star here. By the odds, we should get a couple with this many tokens. Got bonus shards. I think it was Shuri. Oh man, I didn't see the numbers. I always do that. I always go by too fast. Maybe you guys can tell what it was. Probably 50, but if it was more, I really want to know. We'll level up all these characters and then see how many total draws we have for our legendary tokens. Then after today, I'll be saving up again, waiting for Cyclops to enter. Seeing if we hear about who another character is next week coming out, a four-star character more than likely. Got a four, and it is Moon Knight. Oh, man, very nice. We're going to have to add that to my rebuild on Moon Knight since I have a maximum champion. His purple ability is really cool. Randomly assigns itself one of the three types at the beginning of the match, so you don't know what you're going to get. I think that's kind of fun. Three-star Rocket and Groot. Running out of heroics. Got another four at the very bottom of this token run. Go. Four star wasp. Wasp sting. Great ability. Good damage for an inexpensive cost and the potential to stun if you have enough blue saved up when you fire that. And to finish out with a three star Spider-Man on the heroics. Looking great. Let's go to the mighty tokens. 57 mighty tokens we just never get through our pile let's do 49 of these that's seven intervals of seven and uh by the odds that might give us about seven different four stars we'll see though we might run a little hotter than that because the heroics might, maybe were a little bit lower than those odds let's see let's move that up here and go so i think we're going to stop when there's eight tokens remaining Got a Scarlet Witch and then Colossus there. I don't think I need to call out every one of these characters. I usually call out everybody we draw on the three-star level or above. Nice hit on four-star Gamora. That's our first four. Maybe we'll get seven of them from that many tokens. But uh, anyway, I call character names out because some people play along and listen to the this video in the background so you don't have to watch every second and uh, they can still hear who we draw who we draw as we go along nice hit on Ronan Hawkeye there 
This is going to be a ton of levels, guys, and a lot of rewards. That'll kind of determine how many legendary draws we can do. Thinking we're going to have probably around 120 to 150 total legendary draws yet to go in this video. So we're looking at a pretty long one. Hit the blind spot on Professor X. That purple ability is really good. Are we running a little ahead of the odds on the 1 and 7 at a 4 star? Maybe I think we are so far. Quite a ways to go, so we can hit a hot streak or a cold streak. Let's keep it hot. The viewer luck says go and get a Mockingbird opportunist. I played that quite a bit in a video or two ago. Very good design on that ability to earn a free power fired off. Got some sentry bonus shards there. So many levels coming up. The rewards are going to be great. I'll actually point out how much we earn from where we started in command points and then in hero points as well. Be a bunch. And another four. It's X23. I think we're going to beat the odds here on the one in seven draw rate. Let's try to keep one in seven or better when we do our legendary draws. Here we go, another four, and it's Ghost. Power Cycle, cool ability. When you play her purple or red, Power Cycle will create some invisibility tiles. Another four, and it's Ironheart. Remote, remote Control Gauntlets is a really good ability as well. I may have misspoke a little bit on Ghost, but that blue is her passive ability. And I like the way that she creates countdowns that uh, will build up red when they expire. And then if you match her invisibility tile, she actually earns health back. Pretty, pretty cool design there. And then with Ironheart, that remote control gauntlet can do a ton of damage. If there's uh, three enemies, it will deal damage to the two non-target enemies, so the two that are not in front equally and if there's only one enemy remaining it is a ton of damage to the single target enemy got another four star who's this one going to be it is winter soldier bucky barnes got his detonator blue ability traps that can create some really strong attack tiles or the detonator detonator itself when the countdown goes off is massive damage okay we're down to the last three mighty tokens that we're going to do today I think that will work out to be 49 of them and we're done with the normal quote-unquote mortal normal token draws that means just basically everything outside of a legendary and I said we're going to talk about some other special stuff here and so check out the offers and I usually don't do a whole lot of purchases in the offers area But uh, there's some really, there has been some really cool stuff there, including the um, that Okoye special that just ended. And uh, I thought about doing it. It was 75 bucks. Man, I just, it's hard to do. But it would have been more draws for the recruit store that we're um, going to be making draws in for this good fortune vault. So let's go in and level up our characters. We've got a bunch to do. We have characters to champion, earn all the rewards that we can see how far we get let's jump into it right now 281 total well there's a bunch of one stars here so take those out 18 go to the two stars i'm actually going to do i uh, will do these all together it's going to be a really long video no matter what we do maximum champion storm there very nice Tons of Aries, as you saw throughout the night. Or 
earning a bunch of tokens back, a bunch of hero points, more so looking for command points right now. And of course, three star character shards are always good. Where are we at with Captain Marvel? There we go. That's what she needed to become a champion again. Got the three star character cover there. It will upgrade that and take red down. This is typically the way I run her. The red is not real strong anyway. That's okay. I play her for yellow and black. Primarily. Alright, let's go down to, I think the last character we have to level up for the two stars is Bagman. 132, 133, looking good. Let's go to the three stars. What do we have for total three stars here? 108, and I've got a bunch at the bottom that are waiting for saved covers and stuff, and we're actually going to take care of those today. Oh good, there is actually a She-Hulk. I need that, I need one more blue for her. And she's got a bunch of saved covers, but we're going to use up a lot of those saved because we're going to champion a bunch of three and four star characters after we do all these levels. Alright, starting at the top. Let's, um, what was I going to point out? Our, our gains, you know what, let's do this really quickly. We're going to talk about our gains on command points and hero points. Okay, so I've jotted down the totals here. We'll talk about where what we had and where we end up with all these reward games that we're going to go through. It'll be quite a bit. It'll be a lot more once we draw all of our four and five star characters and add those reward levels in. Out of the hundred and some draws we're going to do, that's going to really add up a bunch. But we won't do those reward levels in except for the five stars today. We'll save the fours for next time, and it'll be a ton. Loki has a Eddie Brock coming up really soon. Ghost Rider shards there. One more level on Hood would take him to maximum, but we did hit another shield rank that just clicked over to level 217. Nice uh, command points from Storm there. Speed this up a little bit. Oops, there we go. Beast hits the legendary token. Very nice. Sabertooth shards. Lots of Deadpool, Domino shards. In a couple of levels, we get a natural cover on four star Deadpool. Spidey hits the 227 for another legendary. See, we're going to notice um, how all of these extra levels are adding in tons of extra draws for later. So great. And man, another 227 on Rocket and Groot. Shards on Black Widow, and she's got a Nick Fury coming right up in a couple of levels. I know I show this stuff pretty quickly, but we've got a lot to get through yet. Daredevil hits 257 for the legendary token. Some 15 command points for that hit. Some shards on Electra as we go through here. Kamala needs some covers trained up. I don't think she's going to get anywhere near 13 yet. Nope. Better make sure. 424. Okay. Moving on. Cyclops shards. Nightcrawler, Jean Grey. And that's it for the moment on the three stars, but keep in mind we're going to champion a bunch of those that are waiting with saved covers. Let's go to the four stars. What do we have for four stars? 29, 
four star characters. We'll start from the top here. 150 shards for five star cap. Very nice point there from Bucky. There's Ghost. One more level on Mockingbird, and she will be a maximum champion. Command points. Look at that. A five-star cover on Thanos at level 280 from Gamora. That'll be a great champion level reward. Wasp moves up a level. Let's train Moon Knight. Oh, we'll have to do it from the other screen. So we'll go to Drax. He also hits 369. Max champ on the very next level we get for him. Rebuilding Rogue, 291 already. Carnage, lucky hit we got earlier for 25 command points from that level. Can you believe it? I think we're going to cross 8,600 total command points here from our rewards as we go. A little more CP from the rebuild on Iron Fist. Let's go down to Invisible Woman. 10 command points. And that does it. 8605 total CP so far. And more. Nice. A bunch of Bishop. Hits 330. Another legendary. Told you we had a uh, marathon video going here today. Misty Knight, believe it or not, 290 for another legendary token. Latest Legends token there. All right, so we got to work on Nick Fury and a couple others can take covers. Let's go ahead and train up Hulk here. I want to see where he's at. 453. Oh, so close, but not quite enough. We need another cover or another level's worth of shards. We'll deal with that later. Um, we can add in covers on Throg. We'll add green. And we'll add... Let's see, we'll spend shards on yellow and blue and another blue cover. Check it out, 445, a 13 cover, four star character, and we're going to champion Throg and a bunch of others at once once we're done with all of our leveling. Great. All right, I think that's it for the fours. Let's go to the five stars. Got a Thanos level. 250 hero points. A legendary token is next. He hits level 470. And at that level, Court Death deals 16,300 damage to um, enemies and uh, some damage to allies. Wow, awesome. Come and get me. I don't get this played a lot, but 19,340 team damage is really pretty good. Okay. That's it for our character levels outside of what we need to do for shards. Let's do that here quickly. Sometimes I spend way too much time on this. So let's go down to... We'll just worry about the characters we have champion levels to add in. So Scorpion takes one. We'll go to Nightcrawler. Couple levels on Shuri, getting closer to more Okoye after a little while. Level 315 yet to get there. Dazzler command points. And look at that. Electra hits maximum champion at level 370. Awesome. Okay. Five-star Captain America, 5,000 ISO 8 to go to 456. 25 command points is next. Rope-a-dope, 10,609 to two enemies. And 15,900 to a target enemy from Coup de Gras. But it also spends all of your AP at 909 each on top of that and can do a massive amount of single target damage. One of the highest in the entire game. 
And we have a level on Professor X. 250 hero points goes to 466 legendary token next and now signal boost does 8844 when we make a match for or greater for free basically really cool all right to me my x-men by the way i just want to see what a red damage does 24,382 to a single target enemy and then green is 12,192 team damage awesome okay that's it for the character leveling what did we get here so we went up to 86 39 in command points we gained 99 command points from that run awesome and we're at uh, 29,245 in hero points we gained exactly 3,000 hero points from that run of rewards and 95,000 in ISO 8 from all of that. Crazy. So let's look at our recruit tokens here. Go to the legendaries and we're at 156. So after the crash of the Titans token, we gained an additional five more legendary tokens for a total gain of six. That is so awesome. All right, everybody, we are right now ready to jump into the legendary token draws. First of all, I want to point out one special thing. We have been building a fan community for video producers of all types, but more, imp more importantly in this case, what we made is a vid rally page, and I'll show you right here. So check it out. Vid Rally is a new and not even a sponsor, but they're a brand new startup for fan communities. And it's going to be really great. It's like a Facebook page, but it's also more like a Reddit and Discord combined all in one. So a community for fans where you can create groups. In our case, we have a Marvel Puzzle Quest with Rick O'Shea group and everyone can start and join here. We have posts that I'll be posting. We have um, videos will be posted here. The biggest thing is this is gonna be a place where we can just hang out, um, just uh, make a party out of it. You guys can post anything. I'm slow to answer comments and questions. You guys can post comments and questions, answer each other, fully engage, and um, I am an advisor to this. I'm not, it's not a sponsorship deal. This is something that we are building, and I think it's going to be great for games and YouTubers and everything for uh, everything across the board. You can create your own fan community and jump in now, get started. It's going to be great. We really, really want to know your feedback, so look for the link in the comments section as the uh, top comment pin and also in the video description and jump in vid rally guys i'm really excited to get you guys in there let's go right back to the legendary draws this is uh well we're gonna wait we're gonna champion our characters we gotta champion our characters first we have three star and four star characters to champion this is uh, a long time in the making let's go down to the bottom of the three stars and see who we have to work on Okay, so we do have Black Panther at 13 covers. Need to get him championed up. We're going to spend a ton of ISO here, by the way. 120,000 ISO to champion Panther. Promote. And here we go. Another legendary token. And I'll give you the uh, stats on our gains here as well. Bunch of saved covers. And here we go. All right, he's up to level 173. I think his spec layout is good. There is another three-star champ. Let's go now to Doctor Strange. He also has a bunch of saved covers or covers on my rewards queue on the vine, if you want to call it that. We're going to get a legendary token and a bunch more rewards every time we do this to champion a character. We'll raise up his blue ability, take purple down. Same thing for yellow. Dr. Strange, 535, brand new three-star champion. Let's go to Hot Guy, level him up. So again, if you have any questions about character builds or team strategies, 
enemy teams for combos of who to use against them. Let's post all that stuff on the vid rally and get the community going. And um, the link I'll put always in the description and the uh, first pinned comment. But what I really want to get into is uh, we can do some contests there. So the first 40 people or so that uh, get registered at vid rally, uh, the uh, MPQ group link, we're, we'll talk about a small contest and kind of a shout out thing we can do for fun champion iron man model 40 as well iron heart shards and a bunch more rewards in this run and we get around to another hulkbuster level cool got a um, re-roster hulkbuster after all of that how are we doing on the three stars almost have enough to do psylocke not quite we'll do quicksilver here Spending a whole lot of ISO today. After these character levels, we have our milestones and quests to complete quickly. That won't take long, and that'll be the last thing we do before the legendary tokens. I know this video is long. Quicksilver, let's see, 355 is probably good for him. Some people run his black at a higher number than that. And it looks like Sentry is absolutely ready to champion again, being my bonus hero for a while. Tons of levels, up to 176. I think we'll keep him on as my bonus hero for a little bit yet. And what do we want to do? Probably set this up and red down, I guess. I like to run him for his strike tile and for world rupture is tons of fun okay is that it i think that's it for the threes let's take a look at the four stars i think we have about five or more four stars to champion that have been waiting for a really long time save them to do right before we do legendary draws iceman raised his level to 250 already so it's only 78,000 to take him up Promote as a champion, and we get more legendary tokens and other rewards. Got to take White out to level 5. We'll take Cold as Ice down and build a snowman. I think we're also going to run that at level 5. 5-5-3 five, five, is pretty good for Iceman. Nice. Okay, another champion in the books there. Let's go to... Black Panther, once again, 365,800 ISO, wow, promote him to a champion, more ISO spend, 553 is probably okay for now, I also run in at 535, but no matter what, almost always 5 in yellow, it's such a good ability, creating fortified very strong special tiles okay who do we have next one of my favorite fun characters to play Gwenpool 535 I think that's the way we're going to end up running her get the go-ahead level for yet another legendary token Gwenpool at 271 nice okay who do we have next down here go to Professor X. He's been waiting for a while. Another 365,000. But I'll take those rewards, guys. That's what it's all about. Building up your two, three, and four star characters to champion status and then earning all of those rewards as we go along. We also have X-Force Wolverine as a go-ahead level or two. Very nice. All right. I didn't look at uh, Professor X's specs. I'll t probably check that out in a little bit. But we'll absolutely have Surgical Strike to set the level 5 for X-Force Wolvie. And we'll also take his green up, yellow down. Usually run him at 535. Nice. Okay. So, how are we doing on... Sounds good. Four stars are championed. Three stars are championed. Oh, wait. We forgot a four star. Very important new character. I 
the bottom of my champion list. He's got a few levels, but just made it to 13 today. You figured it out. Figured it out. It is Throg. Level 270, and then the extra shards and stuff will take him past that. Nice. 272 on a brand new character. Fun to have them um, have new characters built up to champ status. And I really don't know how to run him. I'm probably going to take Zip up to level 4. Five. and I really like his blue as well because it de deals damage it also helps him avoid damage the repeater tiles create charge tiles on the board man I just can't decide we'll probably talk about this a little bit more if you um, have champed Throg or have reviewed his abilities let me know in the comments how you have him specced out I'm going to stick with 454 for now and we'll try to get him played in an upcoming video for a little bit better overall from him, let's get into our quests for the day. We've got a bunch of uh, dailies to collect, starting at the top. Opened way more than four cover packs. Played three stories. A versus 50 red. What do we have to do? Use a team up or buy anything from the store. <laughs> I never really use enough team ups in a daily basis, so let's just buy a little bit of Doc Ock to get that thing claimed. That's a clever method, MPQ. You got me to spend a little bit of hero points when um, I get lazy about using a team up. But that's great. That means we get to collect the daily rewards, get some more favorite shards that way. Now let's look at all our milestones. I finally hit a couple of these other milestones as we went along. So we've got Five to collect here, and this could be a really big deal, guys. I know this video is really long, but um, we're getting through some great moments in the game. We've made over 40,000 matches, and that's worth 25 command points. And uh, 40,000 ISO and a token, claim it. Now, that is completed forever on the... Um, you see how it's now a completed objective. Cool. Okay, so I just finally, with all those level ups, have met the objective of using 5 million ISO 8 to level your heroes. That is a 5 star kingpin and some red ISO. Claim that. Cool, so we'll level up that one next time. Use 600 health packs. I don't try to use a lot of health packs, but I'll take that patch Wolverine. And the next reward is... Doctor Strange. I was looking there. The 10 million ISO reward is a uh, Iron Man. Man, that's nice. Okay, let's go down here to the next couple of levels. I was waiting on these. I think it's time. We don't need to keep waiting. Um, I do want the collect 400 powers for a four star heroes rewards the shards to go to Shuri. So let's claim it. Man, nice. And that one now has also become a uh, forever completed milestone quest but here's the one I thought I was gonna wait on for a long time we're gonna do this now collect 20 powers on a five-star hero that's hundred and fifty five-star shards for a Koye and we're just gonna keep going collect 25 fi uh, powers for a five-star hero 200 shards guys claim it 30 And another 250 for 35. This is huge. We don't quite have the 40 powers for a 5-star hero milestone met yet for that 300 shards. But we're going to do that today. And in fact, we're going to do it super soon. But I do want to um, look at a couple other characters that we can level up. And that's going to be Shuri again. Just an ISO reward, no big deal. And where did we get with the five stars? Okay, so it looks like we can take a level on a Koi. Let's do it. That's 25 more command points. Boom. All right. She's level 493. I really want to try to work for 
a level 500 character. That's a huge goal of mine. We're going to keep her on as my favorite. We're going to go and do our legendary draws right now as we get three shards toward your favorite five star as we go along. We're going to earn another level for her um, in about oh, 80 some draws or so. We'll get to that 500. All right. Can't wait to do it. I think you guys have been way patient with me talking through this uh, process overboard completely let's see here we go we're going to stop on the latest legend store that's where we're going to where we're going to do our draws guys we're already up to 168 legendary tokens from all of those extra levels and rewards crazy uh tw the hero points didn't go up too much we've spent a ton of iso but the uh, command points went up to 8713 now so we did get well over 100 total, uh, well over 100 total command points. We uh, went from 85.40 to 87.13. And I just took, took a quick look. This is the very first time I've ever had a total number of latest legends draws of over 500. It's 516 plus total draws saved up right now at this moment how fun wow so it's finally time i know this has been a super long go but if we've got the viewer luck ready we're going to do as many draws as it takes to get six levels on magneto which also should mean we should average about six levels on adam warlock and yellow jacket as we go through getting a ton of four stars that could mean probably it's going to take around 100 draws, 120 by the averages. If you guys are ready, this is it. We're going to do the draws starting right now. Starting with the four star. And it's cloak and dagger. Very nice. So like what we, what we like to do is, let's see. Oh, I did put yellow jacket on as my favorite here for a little bit. And um, I wanted to get him to the point where we were going to have over 500 shards. And I forgot to take him off as my favorite because um, I got shards from the most recent event. So we have to do a really quick setting change here because I don't really need to get... Can I take his favorite off here? There we go. He's ready to unlock. We have over 500, but I'm not going to do it now. Sorry to interrupt. That uh, had to happen that way. We don't need any more favorite shards on him yet so far. Just wanted to make sure I could recruit him from shards only. And now we're going to get a bunch of covers. Okay, so for the play along, you need to choose the four star character you think we're going to get as we go along. On draw number two, we have totally awesome Hulk. Got it. So, pick your four star, put it in the comments below. Uh, let's um, let us know if you get your character and then who is going to be the first five star that we draw along the way. I'm going to go ahead and think, I think we're going to get Warlock first, actually, compared to the other two. Next four star is Quake, Resonance Frequency. How many draws is it going to take to get? Hey, there's a hit on Polaris. That's great. Particle Accelerator. Claim that. Nice to level her up. How many draws is it going to take to get that first five star? There it is. The question's been answered. I think that was draw number... Was it number seven or was it number six? I got a little excited. All right. This is great. It's absolutely Magneto. It could be Adam Warlock, as per my guess, or it could be Yellow Jacket. Who do you think it's going to be? Count it down in five, four, three, two, one. It is Yellow Jacket, that shrinking feeling, his blue ability. Our first five star is in the books. I wasn't right yet, but I will be happy to claim that one. I'm looking forward to playing Yellow Jacket, actually. I've known uh, Adam Warlock has is, is, uh, been pretty well received so far. Got a hit on Ironheart there. Talos got a bishop 
Maria Hill. Let's see who, how long it takes to get another five. I think it's coming right about, not quite yet, but hey, a nice hit on Scorpion. Get those newer characters is great for me. I like to feel like we're moving them along. Medusa, Black Widow, Yondu, due for a five star. Another Hulkbuster, that means we're going to really get a good rebuild going on him. And there's our second 5-star. Here we go. Hit it. And another Yellow Jacket. And it's another Blue. Okay, so we really want to do this. We want to really focus now on Magneto. Because when we get the 6 of him that we need, that means I can stop and save the rest of those draws. I don't think we're going to run into command points today, but there's no guarantee. We uh, Well, we're going to use command points in the other store, in the Akoya store. Got a uh, main event Hulk there. That's going to, is that the color we needed to get to 13? Maybe it is. Blade is rebuilding and another Scorpion. We're due for a five star. Let's get the odds working. Magic, Wiccan. More Ironheart. Four Star Punisher. Venom with some bonus shards. I didn't see who it was going to be there. Maybe you can tell by looking at these numbers. Another Blade. Was it a Shuri set of shards or did it actually uh, reward an Akoya bonus? That would be really nice. I've seen some people get some really good bonuses on their shards recently. Here we go with Wasp. Craven. Need a five star here pretty soon. Another Scorpion, and I think it was three reds in a row, by the way, that we got on him. There we go. Finally back to a five star. Five, four, three, two, one. And we get an Adam Warlock, his black ability. Very nice. I don't think I have his yellow yet, by the way. Okay. Boom! Two five stars in a row. That's what we were hoping for. I'll bet it's Magneto, but I'm never very good at that. Another black for Warlock. Claim it. Cool. Things are going really well now. Let's keep on track for the five stars. I think that's going to guarantee that main event can be champion soon. And Blade has been crazy hot. Rocket and Groot. Professor X, one of our newest rechamps. Dazzler. And a five. Okay, so we're going for Magneto and haven't hit him yet. We've hit two Warlock and two of Yellow Jacket. There we go. Cross your heart for Yellow Jacket. At least we got that one for Darren Cross. So three on Yellow Jacket so far. Four star Thanos and then Kingpin. Got another five. How long is it going to take to get what we need? There we go. Got the Magneto. Got his blue polar coordination. Fantastic. Okay, so I had his... Um, I think I have his I have his blue and I have his red, so this will be the second blue. I don't have his yellow yet, but keep in mind I have enough shards to unlock whatever, whatever uh, color that we need by the end of this. Or I might just save those shards because his, if we get six Magneto, he's only going to be at a total of eight or nine covers. Invisible Woman, Anti-Venom. Maybe it's going to take all of these tokens to get what we want to get on Magneto. I don't mind building up the other characters. But here's the thing. When am I going to draw again? I'm looking forward to Cyclops entering Latest Legends. And that means Magneto's going to rotate out. So I want to get a few levels on him before he does. And then if he gets a feeder, and I got a good feeling he will get a five star, uh, four star character that feeds five star sh shards for Magneto. Um, and then hopefully the others as well. We don't have to get him to 13 if the feeder is going to happen. 
got another yellow jacket, got his black. So we definitely need his green pretty soon. That's four on yellow jacket. Mr. F. Jean Grey and Cyclops in a row. Perfect. More Craven. Lots of draws here, guys. Mr. Fantastic. And keep in mind, we are going to level up the five stars that we get. And right on time, we get another five. We'll save all of these four star characters for another token video. Go! There we go. Now we got Magneto. We got his red ability. Magnetic inhibitor. All right. Very, very nice. Let's stay on Magneto for a little while if we can. Hit on Deadpool. Another five. So I don't know how the odds are working out. It feels like we might be right about average at the one in seven expected, or actually about 15% is more accurate. But another yellow jacket, and he's been running way hotter than the others. And that's our third blue. So what I was going to say is um, maybe our odds are a little bit low on the five stars and then that one hits. So I don't know. Black Panther, Emma Frost. Keep it moving here pretty quickly. Maria Hill. And Miles Morales. So we're down to 104 tokens. Star-Lord. Coulson. More Dazzler. And... Magic. Okay, so we have 100 tokens remaining. We've done about 68 draws, and that only worked out into a few Magneto so far. Maria Hill. Once again, there's our first Jubilee of the night. Bonus shards. Oh man, bonus shards hit, and I didn't see who it was. There's our worthy Captain America. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. Hmm, based on the numbers, I st I'm still not sure. That might have been Shuri that we got the bonus shards for, but if it was Okoye, let me know. X-23. Professor X. More Jubilee now. And Ironheart. Finally, I let a bonus shards hit the screen, and it is 50 for... Shuri, we're really close to unlocking the level on Okoye. Infinity War, Spider-Man, and back to a five. Let's root for Magneto, but I'll bet it's Warlock. Go! Oh, it is Magneto, and another red. Great. Okay, so where are we at here? Let's see what we've done. We're at 91 from 168. Let's do three more draws. And then just take a quick evaluation where we're at. We did get Okoye unlocked for another level. Valkyrie, Spider-Man 2099, and Carolina Dean. Okay, so we're at 88 tokens. We started at 168. That means we've drawn 80 draws already so far. Take another spin through. All right, so that's 2-3 Magneto. And that's it so far on him. We were trying to get about three more. Two red and a blue. And if you take a quick look at our five stars. Magneto, I only had his blue, yellow, and then a shard level figured out so far. So nice that we hit those reds. We could use more yellow and, of course, more blue. All right. Let's keep it hot. We have more Okoye to draw for also. We're at 88 tokens. Nice hit on Rogue there. And again. Black Widow. Need more Magneto. I don't know how far we're going to go. Might have to take a break and go on to the other draw for a while. Elsa Bloodstone. Nice hit on a new character. Nightcrawler. Oh, man. <laughs> bonus shards of some sort if it was big time bonus on Okoye and I cleared it off the screen that'll bother me but um, let's see based on the shards here oh man did we get Okoye shards guys add up the numbers for me 
doesn't seem like we should be at this point without a big bonus hitting there. Oh man, let me know in the comments. I'm sorry I'm so bad at it. Back to another 5-star. Okay, this is a big deal. It would be really nice if it is a Magneto. Let's see. It's Warlock. Got more black. That's going to put his black at like level 4 now. We're going to go until we get another 5 and then maybe pause this store. Another Panther. There's a America Chavez. First time we've seen her tonight. A couple Nightcrawler. And a Negasonic. Cool hit. New character. And Red Guardian. Rather get excited about five stars. Lockjaw's not going to cut it. More Wasp. And there we go. Another five. Let's count this one down. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's Magneto and Magneto and it's his yellow. Sometimes we call him Magneto for fun. Okay, so internal, eternal induction, that means that's going to be at level 2 at a minimum, plus a couple of reds, the blue. Man, this might be the stopping point for now. We might have to draw more before he leaves, but that's the spot where we're going to stop here on the latest Legends. And we drew all the way down to 70 tokens from 168. So we'll do some odds figuring in in that case later but we got to get into this good fortune vault or store and we're going for okoya here this is a big deal this is command points until we get a few levels on okoya so we have what was it a thousand shards that is worth two levels very clearly okay and so that takes her up to 495. So how many levels are we going to draw for from that store? I think what we'll do is go for maybe, man, I don't know, maybe three Okoyes and then evaluate from there. Oh, this is, makes me nervous because I, I, I'm saving up command points for new characters. I don't draw a lot from the special stores. But this one's called Good Fortune. It's got great, you know, good to great characters in it. Let's do it. More viewer luck. Go! Sam Wilson to start. And then Thanos. It's going to always use our command points. It does not take the legendary tokens for this store. Cyclops. Black Widow. And Misty Knight as our fifth draw. Let's see what we're going to get for our first five star. Mordo and Carnage. It's going to take more than seven draws to get a five star. Spider Woman. There's Punisher. Come on, we're due for a five. Let's do it. Peggy Carter. We did get an Okoye bonus there. Oh, man. Somebody stop me so I can get those bonuses displayed. Maybe we can see what the number is here after Mysterio. Koi is up. Pretty good number. So was that 50 bonus shards on a 5-star? Was it something different than that? Man, please let me know. You can put timestamps down in the comments if you think about it. You can always um, uh, click on the video and see what time you're making a comment for. And it, it posts that in the comments. Legion. Or, you know, make a comment on our Vid Rally MPQ fan page. That'll be a nice place to post some of that stuff. Dazzler there. Have we not gotten a five star yet? <laughs> I think we're overly due for a couple of five stars. Mr. Fantastic. Mockingbird. I think that'll max her out if we didn't have it already. At least we're going to hit a Shuri. That's a good thing. I don't know how many draws it's been, but we're way overdue. And there it is, finally. Okay, so we're guaranteed this is going to be a Koi that we're going for. Although I am not going to be disappointed in levels on Deadpool and Onslaught. Let's count it down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... It is a level on Onslaught. Know his name. Really good passive ability. 
claim it. Okay, so we hit Onslaught. I think we're going to be in uh, much better odds than 1 in 7 going forward. Let's see how many draws it takes to get our second 5 star from this store. Anti Venom. Kate Bishop, for the first time I think we've seen tonight. Professor X, Nebula. And Modok. All right, haven't seen much from him for a while. Star Lord, spending a lot of command points. We need more five stars. Let's get that. I didn't ask much about the viewer luck. Let's get that going because I hope that works the same way for you guys when the luck really turns up a notch, like we're so used to seeing. Let's let's get to that. Another Scorpion. At least we got his green. As a champion, it doesn't matter what color you get, but it sure does matter before that when you're building up to 13. There's our second 5-star after so many draws. Okay, Deadpool, Onslaught, or Okoye. And it is an Okoye. We get her Piercing Throw, the red ability. Going to level her up once again. Claim it. I think we're going to start running hot now. Let's see. Luke Cage, Domino, we're going to have so many rewards to add in on the next video. We're not going to do any of the four stars here today, but we will do the fives. Yondu, Wasp, X-23, let's turn up the heat guys, we got to get a five star. Agent Coulson, Jean Grey. And a five. All right, I got a feeling this is Deadpool, but let's check it out. Go! It is Deadpool's Penance Fair. I love that ability. It does. It has the opportunity to do a ton of damage if you play it at the right time. And the other side effects are uh, hilarious, but also pretty um, helpful or damaging as well. Got another Drax there. Peggy. Spider Gwen for the first time, I think, tonight. And a five star. We've hit one of each of the three. There's another onslaught. Is green again. Now we're going for Okoye 100%. I think we've got enough onslaught for now. Carolina. Carolina. Professor X. I think we're due for a couple of back-to-back -back five stars at this point. Here we go. Hit it. Deadpool's red abysmal blades. Claim it. So two for him, two for Onslaught, but only one Akoya so far. Got a lot of command points to go through. That's what we saved these up for. Got a Wolfsbane and some... Bonus shards. Wish I knew what we got for the bonus. Rick's a little too trigger fingered. I think Akoi is going up normally, so it was probably bonus shards for Shuri on that one, but can't be sure. I can't. Maybe you guys can. Negasonic. Karnak for the first time. I know we're going really long here, Wolverine. But if we could just get three Akoi in a row, we could be done for the night. More Drax. Valkyrie. Bishop. And a five star. Okay, let's root for Akoi, but it could be Deadpool again. I don't know. Let's go. It is Deadpool, but this time we get weighed and measured. Claim it. All right, viewer luck, let's turn up the heat on the five stars, and we're trying to get more Okoye. There's less than one day left on this vault. Let's make it count. Hawkeye's red ability. Ronin Hawkeye, that is. War Machine. More Mockingbird. She's going to need to be duplicated pretty soon, and so is Drax and a few other characters, meaning re-rostered to rebuild again. Talos and Black Widow. And a five star. Okay. What do you think this is going to be? I'm feeling Onslaught. I don't know. 
It sure is another onslaught psychic blast. How could we only have gotten one Akoi from all of these command points so far? We've drawn 1,700 command points and only gotten one Akoi. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Oh, man. Nick Fury. Need your help. I need you guys to concentrate. I really appreciate you coming along for this. Another Karnak. I'm always wanting to root for your draws as well, so I hope the when we run lucky that it works for you. And man, we usually run way too lucky on different stores, heroics, and also in the mighty tokens. Got a five. Got to be a koi, right? Nope, another Deadpool. I like that red ability quite a bit. Pretty good damage and a stun. Hey, we're back to fives, though. This is what we wanted. Oh, I waited a little bit and got another Onslaught. I mean, these are not bad draws. I like to build up these characters. But the funny thing is, how could I have only gotten one Akoya so far? That's crazy. Another Karnak. He's going to be leveled pretty high now. Kingpin, heading toward Daredevil shards is great for the five star. Got a five. Better count this one down. We got to make it count. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's a Deadpool, another Penance Fair. Claim it. Looking at our command points, we're at 6,700. I need to think this through because we're really going for Okoye. Really. Didn't need levels on the other guys as much. I like to level them up for sure. So our, our draws were a little bit off so far. There's a five star. <laughs> it's another Deadpool. I just want to go, you know, please. All right, let's see who we get for our very next five. And we're going to have to reevaluate. We've done over. Yeah, we've done right about 2,000 command points at this at this part got a legion our video is going super long got a five could it be it's an onslaught oh my gosh I can't believe this we have one Akoya out of all of these draws that's crazy 6688 all right Let's get the next five. We got to get an Okoye no matter what. We'll see. Odds are random every single time, so you just never know. And when it's one and three at a five star and all these great fours, that's what we save up draws for. And we're getting these bonus shards on every single draw. Another Karnak. Bonus shards. I think it was a good one. It looked like it might have been Okoye. I don't know what it was on the number. Iceman. Looks like she's coming up really well. So, 1,400 total shards on Okoye. I don't know how far we're going to go. We're going to take and evaluate this next five. And when we get this next five star, that could be it. First vulture of the night. we got to get done to a stopping point somewhere. Another Wolf Spain. Juggernaut. Nice hit. Luke Cage with bonus shards. I swear I didn't mean to skip that one off. At least the bonus shard seems to be hitting quite a bit. And it must have been Shuri shards in that case. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Bonus shards again, guys. So where are we at here? We've got Akoi up at 1,517. That's three levels 
from shards alone. So one of, one of the last few of those bonus shards had to be a Koi by the way things are going. At least she earned three levels that way. We got the natural cover. That's going to be four levels onto that. We're not going to make it to 500, but we're at 6188 command points. Let's see who we get as the next five star and go from there. After we get the next five, we're probably done no matter who it is. Let's take a look. Let's root for you know who. And there it is. Okay, this could be it. This could be the end of our run for right now. We might do more legendary draws later. Okay. Go. And it is Akoi finally. The second cover we got for her, plus all of those other three levels of shards. Claim it. Finally, we've got to stop there at 6088 in command points. We started with 8713. We drew over 2600 worth of command points going for our favorite five star from Wakanda. Okay, I think this is our stopping point. We did say we're going to level up the five stars, but check this out. Look at these fours. We are now up to 185 four-star characters to work on. We'll save those for next time. Let's look at the fives, and we got 26 five-stars from those two stores. Starting with, uh, okay, well, we had Kingpin from before, but we started with Yellow Jacket. Got some Adam Warlocks and Magnetos, finally, after a while. And to work really hard for those Akois, got a lot of Deadpool and Onslaught. So all in all, it looks like our total rate was 27 five stars among a total of 203 overall latest Legends draws. That works out to about 13.3 or so percent. So a little bit lower on the overall. We did 105 draws from Let's see, 105 from command points and 98 draws from legendary level tokens. So let's go here. We'll go ahead and we're going to save that kingpin for next time. We're working on the, the characters that we draw, that we drew here today. Need to recruit Yellow Jacket for the very first time. Nice hit on him, so we'll continue that. Didn't have him rostered so far, so now we can train him up. Got three blue, got a couple black, and didn't get any green. So we're going to have to work on green for next time, but that's why we have those shards, and we could purchase that green if we need to. We'll probably save them for now, but we'll level them up. Let's see, or do we want to do that? You know what? Nope, I think we're just going to go ahead and buy it now. The way things work out, it'll be hard to get all green and not get any of the other covers. All right. 231, good run at level 345, starting on Yellow Jacket for Darren Cross. Let's level up Adam Warlock. Really ran good on black. We're up to four levels in black. Didn't get any purple, didn't get any yellow. So that's why we need to save up shards for him and purchase that yellow. We'll level him up as well. Level 330 at a total of five covers. Need to do a little bit better on him next time, but we'll do that. His body and soul ability is probably the best out of the three. So uh, fine with that so far. And now we have to level up Magneto. So we did get yellow to level two. Had one already. Got a blue and a couple of red. So he goes to just six total covers with shards enough to buy a seventh. And that's not as far as I wanted to get on him. So we might have to do more draws in another video before in another video before Cyclops rotates in and go for more Magneto. So that's it for that store. Let's take a look at how we did on the other side of things. Got a bunch of onslaught. Check it out. One. Every other level is great. Two. Three. Four, five levels on Onslaught. Wow. Let's go now to 
level up Deadpool. One, two, three, four, five, six levels on Deadpool. He goes to 463. A bunch of rewards um, are just great. Every other level on a five-star character is either a legendary token or 25 command points working out to, a, to another legendary draw. And now Abysmal Blades goes up to 18,398 damage. Very nice. Penance Fair will be a percentage of damage. Six Deadpool and then the two Okoye that we know that we got. She goes up to 495, but the three shard levels kick in and she goes to 498. Wow, so close to 500. I can't believe it. Oh, man. So, um, basically, we're going to try to get those other two levels somehow. This Wakanda Forever goes up to 1912 for damage on top of damaging abilities. Indomitable Spirit goes up to 2556 healing for each team up on the board when you play it. Piercing Throw is 10,900, really closing in on 11,000, plus 2,100 on top of that for destroying enemy strongest colors. All right, guys, we got to stop there. That was really great. Thanks so much for watching. If there's a video presented down below, please carry on there. And don't forget to check out the link for our fan community at Vid Rally, our Marvel Puzzle Quest with Rick group is going to be great and we're going to have a lot of fun with that posts and conversation and other fun including ways to gamify that that fun check it out we'll see you in the next one